Hi, fabulous fourth graders. Welcome to Thursday. So with Thursday, we have a vocabulary lesson with eight vocabulary words that we want you to learn this week. So I did a PowerPoint presentation and I'm gonna share it with you on my screen in just a minute. I want you to find your Thursday packet. It'll have a math paper on the cover because that would be the first paper for Thursday. Flip past the first math paper and you're gonna look at the vocabulary PowerPoint that I printed for you. It's gonna have lines next to it for you to write, which means you're gonna need a pencil. So get your packet and your pencil ready so that we can get started on our vocabulary lesson. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. So these are eight vocabulary words that we thought you might wanna know to get ready for fifth grade. You have lines next to each PowerPoint so that you can answer the question that goes with the vocabulary word. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first word on slide two is depicts. And depicts means that it shows in pictures or words. So when you're trying to express yourself, a feeling or an emotion, you can show it by drawing a picture. And drawing the picture depicts how you're feeling. It shows what you're feeling through the picture. And an example is this painting depicts an important moment in our nation's history. So the question is, what is a synonym for depicts? And remember, synonym means a word that means the same thing. So what would be another way that we could say depicts that shows an important moment in history? I think I gave it away. But depicts means that it shows in picture or words. Go ahead and write down in the lines what a synonym, a word that means the same thing, would be for depicts. Looking at the second word, the next word is detested. Detested means disliked or hated very much. So this is not just like, I don't like broccoli. It's like, I really don't like broccoli. A whole, whole lot. Detested is a shade of meaning for the word dislike. It's a lot stronger of a word than just dislike. So be careful how we use this word when we're talking to people. But the example is, my little sister has always detested taking medicine. So it's something that she really, really does not like to do. Okay? And then the question that you're gonna answer on the lines is what is an antonym for detested? So if detested means you really, really, really do not like it, what would be the opposite of that? Because an antonym is the opposite. Take a few minutes. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause it and then click play when you're ready to move on. Our third word is discarded. Discarded means to throw away, to, be, to throw something away. You discarded it. And looking at the example, it says the discarded crumpled up paper lay around the trash can. So there was a crumpled up piece of paper and someone discarded it. They threw it away and it looks like it didn't quite make it into the trash can based on this sentence. It laid around the trash can. So the question is, what is something that you have discarded? So what is something you have discarded or thrown away? Quick, simple answer and um, on the lines, and then we'll go ahead and we'll move on. We're gonna be moving on to slide five. And slide five is eldest. Eldest means the one who was born first or the oldest. Example, I am the eldest of four children. So this is their example. My example is I am the eldest of three children. There's me, I am the oldest, I was born first, 
And then I have two younger brothers who are under, who are younger than me. So I'm the oldest, I was born first, so I am the eldest. And then the question is, what is an antonym for eldest? So what would be the opposite of the oldest person or the person that was born first? What would be the opposite of that? Looking at the next slide, the next slide is ignored. Ignored means having not paid attention to someone or something. And the example is the dog sled team ignored the command to stop and keep on running. Sometimes my daughter accuses me of ignoring her. I don't really think I do, but she does sometimes. So ignored means to not pay attention to. So you are going to describe a time when you ignored something, just like I just described a time of my daughter telling me that she thinks that I ignored her. Pause the video anytime you feel like you need to keep writing. I'm not rushing anyone at all. Okay, so just pause the video if you want, write out what you want to write on the, on the lines, and then press play to move on. I'm going to move on to the next slide, okay? The next word, we are now on slide number seven. Slide number seven says obedience. Obedience is the act of following instructions or doing what someone else says to do. The example is the dog had no obedience training and did not obey his owner's commands. So obedience is when someone tells you to do something and you follow those rules, you do it. So how are the words obey and obedience related? So let's talk about this for a minute before you write your answer down. How are the words obey and obedience related? Well, they both start with an OBE, right? So they're both similar in that um, they have the same root. Obey is when I obey my orders. Obedience is the act of doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It's the act of following those rules. When I obey, I follow the rules. Obedience is the actual act of following the rules. So they're very similar in what they mean, but obedience means the act of following the instructions, which where obey is just doing it. Looking at the next word, the next word is refuge. A refuge is a shelter or protection from danger or trouble. And the example they give you is the people took refuge in the bus shelter during the rainstorm. So the question is asking, what place do you think of as a refuge? So a refuge is somewhere that you go and you feel very safe staying there. It's a, it's a shelter, so kind of like, it could be a home, it could be a fort in your backyard, it could be your garden or um, the playground at the park, but it's a, it's a place where you can go that you feel protected, that you feel like you would not get into trouble or you would not be in danger. For example, if we had a hurricane coming, Okay, people would take refuge somewhere that would protect them from the hurricane coming. So what place do you think of that makes you feel safe when you're there? We are now looking at slide number nine. Slide number nine is the last slide. It's our last word, word number eight. And this word is treacherous. Treacherous means full of danger or hazardous. And the example is the ice and wet snow made the sidewalks treacherous to walk on. So what is something that could be described as treacherous? Now don't use my example, but I'm gonna give you an example and then I want you to think of one on your own, okay? Really use your brain power and activate that um, critical thinking that we're talking about in class. So treacherous as in the wind 
in a hurricane can be very treacherous. It can be very dangerous or hazardous because it blows things around that could cause us to have danger in our lives. You know, the wind could throw a tree through a window of our house. That's a very treacherous wind in a hurricane. Okay, which is treacherous and refu refuge can go together. In my refuge, I don't have any windows so that I can protect myself from the treacherous hurricane winds that are going on outside during the year. So something to think about, what is something that could be described as treacherous other than hurricane winds? I want you to think of something other than hurricane winds because that was my example, okay? Go ahead and write it on the lines. Then you're going to flip to the back of that page and you're going to see your activity for your vocabulary words. You're welcome to use all the PowerPoint slides with the words, the definitions, the examples to help you. You're going to read each clue and remember up at the top, it gives you your vocabulary words again. That means there should be no excuse for not spelling these words correctly. They're spelled for you up at the top. All you have to do is copy it down. So the clues are listed and you're going to match the clue to the vocabulary word that we just talked about. Nine and 10 at the bottom, wants you to find the word in the sentence that you can cross out and replace with one of your vocabulary words. So I will do nine with you as an example. If we look at nine, the barn provides a place of shelter for the animals. What is a vocabulary word that we just learned that shows us one of these words? If you said refuge, you're right. So refuge is a place of shelter. So we could cross out a place of shelter. We can cross out those words, but we wanna make sure that the sentence makes sense. The barn provides a refuge for the animals. So we're gonna leave a in there, but we're gonna cross out place, we're gonna cross out of, and we're gonna cross out shelter. And we're gonna instead write one word, refuge. So our sentence on the line should say, the barn provides a refuge for the animals. And then our ending mark. I want you guys to go ahead and do number 10 on your own. These are your eight vocabulary words for this week. I highly encourage all of you guys to use your vocabulary words that you're learning in your conversations with your family, with your friends, really build up that knowledge base and use those vocabulary words to the fullest extent so that we all can have an expanded vocabulary going into fifth grade. I love talking to you guys every day through these recordings and I hope to talk to you guys soon, okay? Stay safe, bye.